Hi, welcome to Katibu 5 video tutorial. Today I want to create the crankcase of a seven cylinder radial engine. It's a remake of an old one, but now I want to do all the parts of this exercise. It's not a complete engine, but a reduced a redux version. Let's take a look at the drawing. So here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step, if you want. So let's have fun with Katiwi 5. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. Hide as usual those yellow projected elements. And I need a circle. And the diameter of this circle should be 383. 383. And that center point should be coincident with the x axis, and it should also be coincident with the y axis. Leave that sketch. Let's make a, an extrude, a pad, and the dimension should be 20 millimeters. Now I want to reuse that sketch here and do another pad, but I want to do a thick pad. The length should be 186. And the thickness should be 383 minus 266, not like this, divided by 2. And confirm. Great. Next I want to create an offset plane, so go for that plane, select this as reference, that's the Y set plane, and usually you should lock this option, and the distance would be 171. Now let's do a sketch on that plane. So. Select that plane, hide as usual those yellow projected elements, and this should be a rectangle. It should be not a rectangle but a square. Okay, I don't want these parallel constraints, so let's delete them. Give it some dimension, so this should be 154. And this distance as well. I want to use uh, three-point circle, there you go, and I want to use it for construction purposes only, one, two, and three. Now, this center point should be aligned with the set axis coincident, and the distance from the center point to the y-axis should not be an angle. Let's try once more. There you go. So this one should be 103. Yeah. And it 
it's not aligned. Why? Because I can rotate it, of course. So I will need more like a distance like this. 26. Okay. Leave that sketch here. Now let's make a pocket with that sketch in the other direction. So reverse side, not reverse direction. And let's do it with 100. Doesn't really matter. Like this. Okay. That's the pocket. Now I will need another sketch, a circle, or I could go for a hole. For that hole I would need a point. So I could go back to that pocket sketch and put a point, not a construction point, right there. And then I could make an output feature. So select that point here, use the lens. So there, there, there's that point, but it's not in the lens. It's hard. There you should have that point. Should be point six, yes, and make an output feature. So have this point here. Now I could make a hole with that point on the surface and it should go up to next. It should be a simple one, yes. And the diameter should be 136 millimeter like that. Okay. Now I want to pattern the features. And if you want to reuse a feature pattern in the assembly, you have to make sure that keep specifications is activated. And you should pattern every feature alone, not all of them together. So let's first pattern that pocket here. Let's go for a circular pattern like this. And I want to have a complete crown and I want to have seven instances and make sure keep specifications is activated and the reference element in this case would be the set axis and confirm now let's pattern this hole again it's a circular pattern again it's a complete crown Seven instances, yes. The reference element would be the z-axis. And I don't want to pattern the current solid, but I want to pattern that hole here. And keep specifications and confirm. Nice. Next, I need a sketch on the yz plane. Hide as usual those yellow projected elements. And this should be a circle. Diameter should be 80. That point should have a distance from the y axis of 103. 
and the distance from this point center point to the set axis should be 171 minus 40 millimeter finish that sketch and let's make a groove with that sketch so go for a groove and the axis should be the set axis and confirm nice nope. now for those holes on those pockets here it used to be a problem if you wanted to pattern a pattern. I'm not sure and I don't know if it's still a problem. I tried it, it worked, but it might cause problems. So take care. It's I do it only because I want to do it quick and dirty and I'm kind of lazy. So keep attention. That's not the best way, but it works. So. I need a point here and I will define that point in the sketch for the pocket. So I want to go to the this sketch here and I want to add another circle for construction purposes and that diameter should be 170. And I need a line also for construction purposes, which starts right here and goes to that corner. And then I want to define an intersection point, but not for construction, like this. And it's still selected and I want to make it an output feature, which means it's available in 3D here and I want to make a hole right there with that point so let's select the point select the whole feature and then select the face because that will make the positioning sketch fully constrained or iso constrained so this should go not up to next it should be a blind one diameter might be 10 millimeter and the depth might be 20 millimeters. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's okay. And maybe, just maybe, make it a flat bottom. And okay. I've got another point here, another intersection point. That's interesting. Where that, did this come from? Let's take a look. What's its parents? Yeah, so that's kind of crazy, should not happen in that sketch here. Let's take a look. Because I did only an intersection point with that circle and that line. So there should not be another one here. But there is one, so I will delete it because I don't need it. And go back. That's okay. And now I can make a circular pattern. And I want to use this face and its according axis as the reference element. Again, quite quick and dirty. It would be better to do a real axis. So let's go for a circular pattern. I need a complete crown. I want it to be four instances. And the reference element would be the axis of that hole here. And I don't want to pattern the current solid, but I want to pattern that hole too here. And let's confirm, but keep specifications and confirm. 
And now, some sort of wrongdoing or mischief, I want to pattern that pattern. So let's go for another circular pattern. And I want to go for complete crown again. I need seven instances. And the reference element in this case would be the set axis. And I don't want to pattern the current solid, but that circular pattern. And confirm. I'm, and I'm almost done. I want to reorder my tree here. I want to have this groove before the holes. So let's go to the groove. Right click, groove object. Go to group one object and reorder. And I want to reorder it after that pocket here. Confirm. Now let's make the last pattern here the work object. And now I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. And you could also watch my LinkedIn learning videos for free because you can do one month for free. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.